hey guys welcome back to our channel we are again back with the cape town content and this was our day four it was very very beautiful sunny warm there was no winds and so we decided to go up to the table mountain that's what we had in our plans and we had to go and take the red bus and this is va waterfront that's where the office for the red bus tickets are so we decided to go there and this is a moving bridge you guys if you are like me and you haven't seen a full double bridge i'm sure there is a name for it but i don't know the name so this is how it moves and they had to make an announcement they have a pa system they said or the bridge is being removed and they were doing this so that they can let a boat that was coming in to pass and it was so fascinating for me to see that's why i recorded it so if you're anything like me and you've never seen this enjoy this view anyways so va waterfront that's where the red bus tickets are and going round the bus that we took we bu we bought it for 275 run per runs per person and 275 francs is approximately like 14 dollars so we bought that for per person and they have all the trips and at the office they are going to explain it to you this is the boat i'm talking about guys so some of the people that are there they have these ex boat excursions so if you want to pay for some of it they have helicopters they have boats so you can choose whichever way you want to see cape town that's what i'm saying you can walk you can use a bus you can ride bikes they have scooters they have boats they have helicopters cape town is just it guys they have everything that you want to do and see and as you will see later in the video at the table mountain they have the cable to take you there so the means of transport is not the problem so it just depends on what you want to choose so anyways as i was saying we paid 275 francs for the bus and we went to the office to the ticket office and that's where we got the tickets from so if you are here and you feel stuck you can just head out to the va waterfront they will explain to you the different routes depending on where you want to go and the amount they charge for that so you guys we hoped on this bus it's an it's called a hop on and off so you can stop at different places and it starts here at the aquarium the two ocean aquarium and it goes all around the city and i'll be showing you like the beautiful city of cape town it's just breathtaking cape town what's up what i've noticed cape town is very clean and also the traffic is well controlled so if you want to rent a car that's also an option for you because the as you can see the traffic is really good on a run from my given disaster speed away from the holy mind pride as we're never So guys we made it to the foot of the table mountain and this is where the offices for paying for the cable car tickets are luckily when we got there we were able to see one cable car coming down and that's how we were able to record it so we paid 36 dollars for the ticket for both of us so it was around 18 18 dollars per person for a return ticket which in my opinion i think it's very affordable considering if i had to hike this mountain i'd probably take the whole day can you hike? can you hike table mountain i think so because i saw there were so many trails and also considering the number of people as you guys can see there are so many tourists going up i i think it's safe to be up on table mountain but i'm not sure about the trails but since they are there i'm assuming people hike table mountain so we went in the afternoon at around two so the waiting queue was not as long but the woman that was at the um ticketing office she said that in the morning the queue the queue can be a bit long so we waited here for like 20 minutes to get into the cable car just after the payment and then getting going up the table mountain using the cable car takes only four minutes when you get there they just let you free and you can walk around and then wait in line again for the cable to come down it just depends they close at six and it just depends on how much you want to stay there so and the views from up there are just it guys the views are nice and this was us on our way up if you have any height phobia 
my advice would be don't look down just look up where you're going when you look down and you see how far you are and how sharp those rocks are i was shivering but for me it's just that i have height phobia but otherwise if you're okay you can just look down it's so beautiful but i prefer looking up it was so good looking up because the rocks are as beautiful as you can see them and then we got to the top and these are the views On the other side of the table mountain you will see the camps bay area and this is where all these people are seated these people have made a restaurant there are restaurants here there are restrooms if you want to and this is the camps bay area you just see the ocean the beaches and just how they've built all these houses they have all the residential areas here and it's just perfect watching it
After coming back down at the Table Mountain, we hopped on on the red bus again and it took us around the Camps Bay area and then back into the waterfront area and that's where we walked back to our apartment and that's it guys i hope you enjoyed make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel you'll be seeing more of cape town content and anywhere that will be going and also be sure to check me out on instagram at shirunjuguna and that's where you'll see all the things that don't make it for youtube thank you for watching